Hello students, in this session we are going to study the strain energy in sudden loading. When the load is applied suddenly on a bar, what is the strain energy stored and what are the stresses developed in the material, right? Our aim is to find out the stress using the strain energy equation, right? So the load is applied suddenly, remember the load is applied suddenly that for the entire length deflection delta L entire deflection the load is same right so we can uh, even draw the diagram that the load applied is suddenly that for the entire delta L section the load is remains same P right when the load was gradual it was 0 to uh, P now it is starting from P and end from the P for the entire length right so this is the area, this is the work done or area or strain energy stored in the material, area under P delta L curve, right? So here it is difference, right? So, so this is the, so this is the work done or strain energy stored in the material, right? That is P delta L, right? So what is the strain energy stored in the material? So strain energy stored or you can say work done, work done by load which is suddenly applied or work done by load that is equal to load multiplied by deflection because load is same throughout the deflection. So that is load multiplied by the deflection P delta L, right? And we know the strain energy stored is given by sigma square upon 2E multiplied by the volume. This equation we are we know that this equation is valid for every type of stress available, right? So these two equations are same. This is the work done by the load, uh, sudden load, and this is the strain energy stored in terms of stress. So this one and two are equal. So we can write that sigma square upon 2e and what is volume? Volume is area into length, area multiplied by total length. So whatever is the area, it may be circular or square or a rectangle so whatever is the area multiplied by length is the volume Multi that will be equal to p delta l and what is delta l what is delta l you know delta l is given by sigma l upon e this is the basic concept starting from the simple stresses we know sigma l upon e so here p delta l can be written as sigma l upon e so sigma square upon 2e multiplied by volume can be written as P, P times sigma L upon E. Here something will cancel out. Uh, what will cancel out? Sigma, one sigma will cancel out. L is cancelled out. E cancel. So what is left is the stress is 2P by area. So stress developed is 2 times load upon area. So you can see here this is 2 times the load upon area, right? So if this force is, uh, you can see it is a double, double of the gradually applied load, right? If the P is gradually applied, then it seems that stress due to sudden loading is double of the gradually applied load, right? So this is twice as that of gradually applied load, gradually applied load. Right, so this is how we can find out the stress and use this equation. Stress equation can be used in this equation to find out the total strain energy so, uh, stored in the material. Right, so this is the stress, and we have utilized the concept of strain energy to find out the stress in the material due to sudden loading. And this is the strain energy due to sudden loading. This equation can be used here to find out the strain energy. <laughs> 